And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower! Animal Mastermind Towers is, well basically, the only thing you really need to focus on in this is, is the word Mastermind because this is a children's version of the game Mastermind. What each child in this game, or player I guess, is trying to do is you're making a row of animals and trying to guess the row that your opponent has made. Uh, we all like animals. You know, the vassals, we love to go to the zoo and see animals. And so, this is a theme that I think is really interesting. So, let's look at it. In Mastermind Towers, each player is going to choose six animals that they are going to use in their tower. They will then take the six cards of the other person's animal. So then you'll take your six cards and secretly, without the other person seeing, you're going to put them into your tower in any order you choose. So let's say this is my order. I then can take the tower and put it in its base and it's face up in front of me that my opponent can't see. I will then take my the animals that the other player person has and place them out in front of me any way I want, like that. And then on my turn, I will ask Melody a question here. So let's say, for example, I say, All right, Melody, is your lion over the giraffe? No. She says no. So now I can rearrange these to show that the lion is not over the draft. Now if she had said yes to my question, then I could go again. But I didn't, so she asks me a question. Is the bunny over the crock? Is the bunny over the crock? And here I'll say yes, because that is true. Um, now I'm able, now that doesn't, whenever she asks over and under, you could ask an over question or an under question. It does not have to be exactly over, exactly under, it just means it's, it's positioned somewhere above and over. Now I need to mention here at this point in time that a simple game is just playing with four. A medium game is playing with five, and it really is pretty difficult to play with six. But since she got it right, she can ask another question. Is the monkey over the crock? Uh, yes. And she can ask one more. The most you get is two extra guesses. Is the pen penguin over the crack? Yes. Now, you can see, for example, now she saw me put them in, uh, <laughs> which is why she already has it correct right now. Um, but at any point that she wants it, she could say, is this, what it, is this the correct answer? And I would have to say, yes, it is. If not, then we keep going. But if you try to guess your opponent's lineup and you're wrong three times, then you lose the game. So you have two guesses, so you might want to take one at some point or other. But that's basically how Mastermind Towers works. I like this game because um, I make towers of animals, and it makes me think, and usually when I'm playing against my dad, it's usually who's me winning, not him. The game is a simpler version of Mastermind, like I said. And I love Mastermind. I love getting those colors in, and then this is a good way to teach her how to get to that point, because I'm all about teaching logic, and this is a game that teaches kids logic. Now, if you're playing against younger kids, that you better play with four or five animals, because six animals could take a while, and they might get frustrated trying to get those last two animals into position. But then again, you might be surprised at how well they actually do. Great components, I really much, very much like the artwork. So for me, this one's a keeper. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.